Hey guys, so today we're going to be starting off with our eyes and I am doing some relighting and things like that. So be patient with me. I'm hoping all of that will get worked out. So here is this little guy. If you hear him barking and running around, that's why. But this is Thor. Say hi. He will be joining in some of the video background for sure. I'm sure you've already heard him in some of them barking and hanging out. But he's four months old next month, so joining with us. We're going to start out with our eyes. And um, I'm going to start out using today our Kat Von D. Sep Tina palette. I just got this palette the other day, so this is going to be the first time using it. I'm going to try out using these three shades here in the front and see how that goes. Um, I might have to add some other ones in with it. They are Blood Milk, Medusa, and... Huh? Huh? I think that's A and, <laughs> K -A. And, uh, a and K B. And I'm going to take both of the eyes. That way I can get a perfect line that I'm wanting. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush. Then I'm going to go in with a blending brush and I'm going to be using uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Shadow in the shade Orange Soda. And I'm going to use this just to set my um, lid and upper crease area. Kind of as a transition shade. Then I'm taking a crease brush in that blood milk shade, which is that really red color. And I'm going to be applying that directly into my crease area. And I'm going to apply this very lightly at first because these shades are very pigmented. So I'm going to go on the very light hand and a very light amount of product just to know kind of how much I'm dealing with. <laughs> palette that was kind of in the color wheel shape and by the time I went to order it nowhere had it and it was only a limited edition so I couldn't get a hold of it um, but I really like these shades in this one so I as soon as I saw it I purchased it um, but they're very pigmented and they're very creamy and easy to blend so I'm very impressed with this I've heard a lot of great things about her products but this is the first time I've actually tried them myself but they're usually very colorful and so that's not always something I usually go for but I have started kind of branching out more in that area lately getting more comfortable with that and I am bringing this red shade down into the inner part of my eye you just want to kind of do windshield wiper motions and just make sure that it's really blended and to the Part of your liking. Then I'm going to take a little bit more of a defined crease brush that has a little bit more of a point to it and I'm going to take this with that Ancus shade and I cannot know how to say that but it's a really dark um, black shade in it but it has almost like golden specks in the shade and I'm going to use that directly into my crease area just to kind of go in and darken that out or darken that up. And I'm going to go in with a very light hand on this one as well and just slowly build it up. 
Now as I'm applying this, I don't really see any of those golden specks. It's really more of just kind of a, um, like almost like a light black shade. And I'm also going to bring it down onto the outer V of my eye and kind of wing that out with that tape. Then going back in with that crease brush that I used at first, it still has some of that leftover blood milk product on it. I'm going to go in and just blend those two together. shade right here and I'm going to apply that directly onto my lid on the inner side and blending that out with that dark black and for that I'm just going to use a flat lid brush but before we apply that I actually forgot I'm going in with my NYX glitter primer quickly and fill in my eyebrows before I do this part here and we're just going to take our Chella eyebrow pencil <laughs> gel and set the brows. Then I'm going in with an Urban Decay shade and this is a Foxy and I'm going to set my or um yes I'm going to set my brow area. Then when we remove the tape you, know, you have a perfect line to follow with your wing liner and you can wipe away any fallout because we've not done our face yet. So now that I'm done with my face makeup and I did use the Cover of Fix, Cover Fix, uh, Pick Click Go, I had a sample and I actually really did like um, all of it. I had a sample of the corrector, the foundation, and the highlight, the enhancers. Um, so I actually might be buying a full size of all of these. Um, I have to go to Ulta, I believe they have these at Ulta or Sephora and see um, which ones I like the best. But I really like the way it feels on my face. Um, the shade they sent was NC40 and that's a little bit dark for right now. Um, but it wasn't too bad because I am a little bit tan but it's a little bit too dark for what I would normally wear at this time. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be taking the, sh the shades that I used on the upper lid and bringing them down onto my lower lash line. So first we're going to go in with blood milk and just using a pencil brush I'm going to bring this down and blend it ever so lightly onto the bottom lower lash line. with that Anna 
or whatever that is that I can't say, that dark shade and darken up the outer corners. Then going in with Medusa, I'm going to bring that in on the inner corner of the eye. with the Sonia Koshka um, eyeliner and it's kind of a brown greenish shade in iced coffee. Um, <laughs> do it in a brown um, eyeshadow or eye brown eyeliner and this is the pure minerals a double ego eyeliner and I'm going to be using the felt tip to do the top um, wing and I'm just going to go with that line that we created with that tape take our Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. of this since we're not wearing any lashes today but you can definitely wear lashes if you want I just normally don't unless it's a special occasion and I'm going to go in with my L'Oreal telescopic mascara and apply that to the bottom of lashes and this is the finished look so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday for more like this if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe as well if you would like to have notifications about more videos like these. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.